His writings are considered to be a strong influence on American jurisprudence, supreme law of our land by our founders, biblical worldview, and the U.S. Constitution. <laughs> to disarm the people is the most effectual way to enslave them. George Mason, referencing advice given to the British Parliament by Pennsylvania Governor Sir William Keith. The debates in the several states' conventions on the adoption of the federal constitution. I ask, who are the militia? They consist now, that's right, they consist now of the whole people except a few public officers. George Mason's address to the Virginia Ratifying Convention. I'm getting close to the end, by the way. Before a standing army can rule, the people must be disarmed, as they are in almost every country in Europe. The supreme power in America cannot enforce unjust laws by sword, because the whole body of the people are armed and constitute a force superior to any band of regular troops. Noah Webster, an examination of leading principles of the federal constitution. One of the fundamental complaints of our fathers, our founders, recorded in the Declaration of American Independence was the king was giving his assent to acts of pretended legislation. Hello? In the building they've been doing that. Just what is happening so often in this building in the U.S. Congress. Okay, I need to hear from you. Do not waste your breath telling me the founders and framers of this country or this state did not know what they meant or what they were doing when they crafted our foundational documents. Out 